Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today, we're diving into the world of Linux security, specifically focusing on Ubuntu. I'm, and in this beginner's guide, we'll be exploring how to use the uncomplicated firewall, or UFW, to enhance the security of your Ubuntu system. First things first, let's understand what UFW is. UFW is a user-friendly interface for managing IP tables, the default firewall management tool on Linux. It's designed to make the process of configuring a firewall less complex, especially for beginners. On Ubuntu or Linux Mint UFW firewall is installed by default, and it is also inactive by default. To check if it is active or not run this command. Just in case it is not installed you can install it by running this command. So if you are using a remote server, you must allow traffic on the SSH port before you enable the UFW firewall so that you can connect to the system remotely otherwise you will be locked out after it is enabled. You can add firewall rules even if the UFW firewall is not enabled. You can now enable the firewall by running this command. As you can see the firewall is now enabled. You can check the version of firewall you are running by running this command. If you are running a server you can add new rules for example you can allow port 80 when you are running a web server. By default, these commands will add rules for both IP and IPv6. If you don't include a specific protocol, the rule will be applied for both TCP and UDP. If you're using a desktop machine without any active server applications that need external access, sticking with the default policies is a sensible choice. By default, UFW is configured to deny all incoming traffic while allowing all outgoing traffic. This configuration is well suited for typical desktop users who need to connect to various services like web pages but don't want to expose their machine to incoming connections from external sources. If you want to disable the firewall you can run this command. If UFW is currently enabled and you make changes to the firewall rules, it's necessary to reload it for the modifications to take effect. To do this, you can restart UFW by first disabling it and then enabling it again. You can also just reload the firewall rules by using this command. If you ever make a mistake with your rules and wish to revert to the default settings, you can reset it to its initial state by executing the following command. You can also allow or deny port ranges. You must specify the protocol at the end. In this example we are allowing the ports from 60 to 80. To simplify the process, you can also implement rules using the service name like you can just enter HTTP instead of port 80. If you want to check the list of services run this command, this command is used to view the content of the file in a Unix-like operating system, such as Linux. This file is a plain text configuration file that maps well-known service names to their corresponding port numbers and protocols. When you execute this command, it opens the file in the less pager, allowing you to scroll through the content. Each line in the file typically represents a service entry, showing the service name, associated port number, and protocol. These entries indicate the well-known port numbers associated with services like HTTP, SSH, and SMTP, along with the corresponding transport protocol TCP in these cases. The services file is commonly used by applications and utilities to translate service names into port numbers. Press the letter Q to quit. This command is used to display a list of application profiles that are available for configuration in uncomplicated firewall UFW on Ubuntu or Debian-based systems. UFW allows users to create rules based on application profiles, making it easier to manage firewall settings. 
When you run sudo ufw app list, it will show a list of predefined application profiles along with their description. These profiles typically define a set of rules for specific applications or services, including the necessary ports and protocols. This list provides a convenient way to enable or disable specific rules for well-known applications without manually specifying port numbers and protocols. You can then use these application profiles with commands like sudo ufw allow or sudo ufw deny to manage firewall rules more easily. If you are using a desktop GUI, you can also use the ufw GUI. The GUI provides a user-friendly interface for configuring UFW rules, making it easier for users who prefer a graphical approach. Upon launching the GUFW interface, you'll encounter a page featuring various tabs and profiles for firewall management. The fundamental setup of GUFW involves choosing the suitable profile that aligns with your current network configuration and activating the firewall. The initial action to undertake is enabling the firewall. This entails switching the status from off to on, thereby activating your Ubuntu system's firewall to safeguard against unauthorized network traffic. Within the GUFW interface, users can access three distinct profiles, home, office, and public, to align with their network configuration. Users can select the most suitable profile by simply clicking on each. One notable advantage of the GUFW interface lies in its flexibility and customization option. This enables users to tailor their firewall rules by crafting specific configurations for services and ports. For monitoring and managing active services, along with detailed information such as ports, service names, IP addresses, protocols, and more, navigate to the Reports menu and access the Reports page. Within the Reports section, you'll find two useful icons, Pause and Plus buttons in the bottom. These icons serve a dual purpose, enabling you to temporarily halt the listening report and, simultaneously, create rules for services. This functionality enhances your ability to not only view and check running services, but also take active measures in configuring rules for optimal management. The next video will be a detailed tutorial on how to use the UFW GUI firewall. I will link the video in the video description. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using UFW on Ubuntu or Linux Mint. By implementing these basic firewall configurations, you've taken a significant step in securing your system. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more Linux tutorials. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.